Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Asana with Monday.com. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, but then I'm going to focus on the juicy stuff. I'm going to compare templates, main features, custom fields, integrations, how to add a task, literally everything and I'm so excited to do this video. So let's start. Asana got two advantages comparing to Monday.com pricing plan. Asana offers you free account, so you can actually have it free forever, but then on a premium and business account, you can get also monthly plan. So you don't have to pay yearly. So let's say that you want to only test that for two months and you can pay only for two months. So that's really great. On the other hand, Monday.com offers you only free trial, no free account, but they are billed annually, not monthly. So you need to choose a team size and then you're gonna see how much money you're gonna pay monthly uh, per year. So it's going to add up. Then you see the standard version and also pro version. And also another thing is that Monday.com offers better prices comparing to Asana, but Asana offers monthly plans. So there are some advantages, disadvantages. It's really up to you what you need. When we talk about the features and what is actually better, we will get to it right now. Before we dive into the workspaces and projects, there is one advantage Monday.com has over Asana, and that's a dark mode. Asana still didn't implement it after years of people asking on the forums that it would be great if Asana had a dark mode. Monday.com has it. And for me, that's a huge advantage because I like to work in the evenings. So let's go to the workspaces. So the first thing, you just click here on the three dots and you just add a new workspace. I add a workspace name, YouTube channel 2. Create a workspace. And now I can go simply click add, choose from templates and see more templates. And I will stop right here and let's get to Asana and see how it feels. On Asana, I'm in, okay, home. I can click company one to free, click plus. I can use a template, I can import spreadsheet or I can add a blank project. I'm going to use a, use a template too. And now you have general templates that you can use, but look at this. How it feels on monday.com you see literally everything content production sales crm simple crm contact us form design even or hr or startup in asana look at this so i can use from these i know starting business checklist i can go back but you need to do more clicks to actually choose what you actually want right so let's go team brainstorm and use template. Project name is going to be Team Brainstorm. It can be public or private. I'm going to make it public, create a project. And voila, here we have it. So we got our company, and then we have marketing, and then Team Brainstorm. Here, monday.com, you got much more templates that you can use for your business. So from the template standpoint, monday.com is completely winning. So I can go real estate CRM, use. And let's see how it looks like. Set up in your workflow. Finishing. And here we are. So let's go to tasks. In monday.com, you can have it as a property, as a lead, as a task. So I'm going to click here on a add property and I can simply name it, let's say building, right? I will click on it. I can see item card. I can simply add a view as item card and item card is what you actually see here as a custom field. So when you would see custom fields that I pre-created from template, I can simply see them here in my building. And I can simply add, right? Agent, type, price, bathroom, bedroom. Then you have updates here that you can write update and then you can see activity log that you can actually uh, like see the activities. Then you can also assign it to someone, right? Pretty simple. In Asana, I can simply click add task. Let's name it. This is a new task. I can click on it and see assignee. Then I see due date here. Projects, dependencies that I can add, idea status, favorite idea, description of it, and I can add a subtask. This is something that uh, Asana has better comparing to Monday.com or our subtasks. So subtask one. 
look at the monday.com you need to click here add sub item but look how it looks it's like i don't personally like it i don't know about you but for me it's just not pretty and not like user friendly on asana it's much better then you can also attach a file subtasks you can copy this link or you can add it to another project etc really simple things and you can add a comment here and then you have a collaborators here so as you can see they are both different it depends which one you prefer more and yeah so we got a new task here now let's go to custom fields in asana you just go to the job right you click plus here and you can add a drop down text number percentage currency or you can choose from a library it would have here or you can create new and let's say that i want to click plus here i can simply add a drop down field type can be status option one option two option three field type can be text or number create a field and now I can simply choose between these two free, right? Pretty simple. But Monday.com is more complex. When I would come here, I can simply click plus and you have text, numbers, files, formula, email, or you can go to more columns and even find. And you can find exactly what you got in Asana, but even more. So Asana is more simpler, but you got more stuff in Monday.com. But if this is enough for you that to have like drop down text, number, percentage, currency. And that's pretty much it. I understand, you know, but in Monday.com, you get it much more complex. Progressive tra tracking button. That's a rating formula that I can simply click and add columns and then just like add the functions to it. You just don't have it even when you go like So you don't even have it here, you know? So this is a huge advantage comparing to Monday, but it depends if you actually need it. If so, go with Monday.com. Now, when we are going to compare views, they are both good. You come here to all views, you can simply add a view, you can add a table, you can add a Gantt, calendar, chart, Kanban, even form, timeline, workload files, or you can click more views and see literally everything here. And then apps on Monday, they're like online docs here that you can add. So I'm going to add, I don't know, let's say map. And then also I can add a Kanban here. In Asana, you see overview. Like what well, you can add things here. Then you see the list. Then you see the board. I think the Asana board is much prettier comparing to Monday.com. Timeline. Use timeline. Here I can do it too. And you just add date column here. They're both really similar. Calendar, this is the same with with us with Monday.com. And let me show you how you can add to calendar. Task, right? And I can edit everything here. When I would go to timeline, add a view and add a calendar. I can simply click again, add. And it's, I think this is better in money.com. And you just add here, new task, create a contact. And voila, here you got it. So then you got a dashboard here. You can optimize it by yourself that you like see uh, what is happening here and you can move it and see some data messages you can send message to members forms and you can click more and files so this is what you got in asana also they are both complex i think monday is winning from the what you got also that you can implement apps here and i don't for example see map here in asana and you got in monday.com you don't see also chart here and you see it in monday.com. So if you want to connect with numbers, uh, you want to go with Monday again. But again, 
Asana is more simpler version. Like if you want to focus only on project management and you want, don't want to have CRM style with numbers, with maps, and you just want to focus only on project management, Asana is fine. Monday.com is becoming more and more complex what you can do in it. When we compare integrations, they are both really rich on what you can actually connect it with. So you got Microsoft Teams, Gmail, Zapier, Outlook, same with Monday.com. You got literally everything here you need. So when you would like to I don't know, decide based on integrations, you're not going to make a mistake if you choose Monday.com or if you choose Asana. They are on the same level. But of course, it depends. Like if you need specific program, I think you need to connect it also with Zapier. So Monday.com and Asana both got Zapier. So, yep. If you want to use project management Monday.com or Asana on your smartphone as Android or iPhone, it's going to be all right. It's top notch. Like comparing to ClickUp, Monday.com and Asana are really great. And I tested Monday.com primarily and I was really satisfied with it. In the past, I was using Asana too and it's okay. So they're both really great and they're on the same level. So to compare Asana and Monday.com, which one is actually better? Asana is more simpler. The board is more prettier. The user experience is better comparing to Monday.com. But Monday.com is richer on features, on also custom fields that you can add. Uh, as I was talking about that, you can add simply formulas. It's much better comparing to Asana. But maybe you don't need that. Maybe Asana simplicity is enough for you. In that way, I would recommend going with Asana. But this comparison is damn hard. And I just can't decide that you should do definitely Asana or you should use definitely Monday.com. They are both good choices for project management. But it depends what you need. If you need simple project management for managing your team and projects that you have, like if I would have project management for my YouTube channel, I would go with Asana because I don't need formulas. I don't need calculations. I don't need maps. I just need to know when I'm going to make a video, what I need to be done. My team needs to know what they have to do. And Asana is really good for it. On the other hand, Monday.com, I'm not going to, you know, feel the whole potential of Monday. So just project management, nothing else, go with the Asana. You want complexity, you want more things, you want CRM, uh, you want more features, go with the Monday.com. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.